Have you ever stopped and looked upon the basic fundamentals of programming? Any programming language requires coding skills, but the algorithmic thinking and logical capabilities makes you stand out as a programmer. Today in this session, let's understand the importance of data structures and algorithms popularly known as DSA and how using DSA you can write optimized code. By end of this video, you will understand the need for data structures and algorithms, the importance of DSA, the types of data structures and algorithms present in order to optimize the code. Talking about the need for data structures and algorithms, we all now know the world is full of data. It deals with data, lots and lots of data. But where do we store it? How do we fetch and work on it whenever we require it? There must be some structure to it to make it all possible to store and fetch and perform operations smoothly on data. This is what is data structures all about. As the name suggests, it helps you to store the data with proper structure and format for efficiently fetching and modifying it. In laying out the foundation for any programming language, data structures and algorithms DSA, go hand in hand. Algorithm, as the slide states, it is the sequence of finite instructions to solve a particular problem. They can be expressed as natural languages, programming languages, pseudocode, flowcharts, and control tables. Algorithms are all around us. The recipe for making tea, the method we use to solve a long division problem, and the planning for a birthday party even are all examples of algorithm. Now let us understand the need for data structures and algorithms. In real world, you must have tried solving a Rubik's Cube once in your life. How easy or difficult you must have found it depends on the path you might have taken to solve it. It has almost around whooping billions of positions, so you can imagine the total number of paths to reach all those positions. This is where DSA, data structures and algorithms comes in handy. Using an algorithm here helps you to reach the solved position in minimum number of states. You can imagine how powerful it is to know data structures and algorithms even before knowing how to code. Thus, DSA has quite an important role to play even in solving the real-world problems. Real-world problems that take months can be solved in minutes using the knowledge of DSA. Machine learning is no exception when it comes to easing the process of fetching data. Here, the knowledge of data structures and algorithm enhances the algorithmic thinking of a machine learning engineer as a considerate amount of time is reduced to solve the complex challenges with the knowledge of data structures. Writing code is no big deal, but writing optimized code is a big yes everywhere. Using data structures and algorithms, you tend to write the optimized solution in terms of time and space and you choose the best data structure. Data structures and algorithms are often considered to be the root or the foundation of computer science. And with the ever-growing data, its significance is more than ever. The knowledge of DSA is tested significantly in the technical hiring process of many companies as data structures and algorithm helps in tasks like data search, which plays an important role in any of the applications. And it typically shifts the focus of programming for from the syntax to the approach. Now talking about the categorization of data structures, these are broadly classified into two, linear data structure and non-linear data structure. When the elements are arranged in sequence, one after the other, the elements are arranged in particular order, then that type of data structure is termed as linear data structure. And the examples for the linear data structures are arrays, tags, queues, and linked list. And when the elements are not in any sequence, but are arranged in hierarchical manner, that type of data structure is called non-linear data structure. As the complexity of any program increases, we tend to shift from linear to non-linear data structures like graphs and trees to solve the operational complexities faster. Now, what makes an algorithm efficient? 
Writing efficient programs is what every programmer hopes to be able to do. But what kind of programs are efficient? How do you generalize efficiency? And algorithms are programs in general form. And it means three things. It should be independent of the programming language in which idea is realized. And any programmer with enough knowledge and experience should be able to understand it. It should be applicable to inputs of all sizes. And the efficiency of an algorithm is defined as the number of computational resources used by the algorithm and the rate at which algorithm solves a problem of size n. Its efficiency is measured based on the usage of different resources. And to maximize the efficiency, you need to minimize the resource usage. And the important resources such as time and space complexity cannot be compared directly. So time and space complexity could be considered for an algorithmic efficiency. Concept of time and space complexity for any particular problem will be discussed in the upcoming videos in depth. Now if you see there are several types of algorithms all designed to accomplish different tasks are present on the screen starting from search engine algorithm to encryption algorithm, greedy algorithm, recursive, backtracking, brute force, sorting, hashing, divide and conquer and dynamic programming are the fundamental types of algorithms. Learning programming languages is easy, but writing optimized code for complex problems is not. Here comes the use of data structures and algorithms DSA, as we have already discussed the main advantage of learning it. To summarize the whole session, the profound uses of DSA has made it imperative for all those budding programmers and students to start learning it and for the already experienced ones to upgrade and upskill themselves to keep abreast of the advancements constantly happening in it. So that's it for the introductory session. We will have a look at all the important and most widely used data structures and algorithms in depth in the upcoming videos. Thank you.